Hi, I'm Dave Parisi. I'm the creator of the Inertia Wave. The Inertia Wave is a high intensity metabolic conditioning device, very portable. But before we get into that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the truth. And when you talk about the truth about exercise, sometimes it's a very, very hard pill to swallow. I was thinking about it the other day. I'm saying to myself, what's the first thing someone does when they want to get in shape? Well, besides asking your friend what they do, which probably won't work for you, uh, that's kind of a dead end. They actually say, oh, I have to join the gym. I have to get a gym membership. But then you think about it. By the time you get to the gym and join the gym, or maybe you pass the exit once you become a member, you really don't go on a systematic basis. You don't go three times a week. And then when you get there, maybe you sit on the machine on your cell phone like 90% of everyone else at the gym. Here's the point I'm trying to make. You don't need to go to a gym to have a great workout. And think about this on a science level. When you're sitting on the machine, you have an external sense of stability, right? So it's holding you in place. So anything responsible for caloric burn is shut off. That's it. So it's stagnant. And we sit all day on our spines at work. So when you do get out of the realm of going to the gym and sitting on the machine and plugging the pin and doing all those robotic activities if you're doing them correctly because in the back of our mind we're always wondering if we're doing the exercise correctly, correct? Correct. So we want to get into exercises where you don't use the machine, you want to make your body the machine and that in today's industry is called functional. So here's what we're going to do. I just got off the beach, it's a beautiful day. A lot of people bring a cooler like this with some healthy snacks inside, maybe. Here's my travel companion. I have some exercise tubing, very small, very lightweight. This must weigh maybe two and a half pounds. So along with my healthy snacks and my water, make sure I'm hydrating properly throughout the day, especially if I'm going to be in the sun, I bring a little travel kit because at the end of the day, 3.30, 4 o'clock before I go home, I want to feel refreshed. I want to wake up from being in the sun all day and I'm doing a little workout. So we're going to go through a series called a high intensity interval training. We call it HIT for short, H-I-I-T. Watch what I do because this is the most efficient, the most optimal way to get yourself in shape in a very, very short time. Forget about the gym, follow this. Here's my tip for today. We're over here and we just have a set of bleachers. We're just walking through a park right now. A couple baseball fields, softball fields, and I just run into this. This is totally improv. I'm just gonna do a series of exercises being creative, and I want you to learn what I'm about to do. Obviously, I have to warm up, so I'm just gonna do some basic squats. I'm gonna come over here just for a second to show you that my feet are straight in front of me, okay? When I come down, I'm just going to send my hips back. I'll show you from the side. Send my hips back. You see a lot of this when you squat. Don't do that. It throws you forward. It rounds out your spine. Just stay here. Keep your elbows in tight and just start to warm up. Now, of course, I did walk here, so I did increase inner core temperature a little bit, which is nice, but I just want to make sure that I'm going to increase that temperature so I don't pull anything. The first exercise I'm going to do is basically a step up. I have one foot on the step here and I'm just going to step up. The opposite foot hits the step and then I step down. I'm going to do 10 on each side. 9, 10, I'm going to switch, opposite foot, 1. Every time I come up, the foot that goes down and comes up taps that bench to give me a little stability. Listen, if you don't feel stable doing that single leg, I have an exercise tube here that I just wrapped around the bleacher. I'm gonna hold on to it as an external sense of stability, so now I feel a little more comfortable doing the step up and holding on to those tubes. I'm gonna drop the tubes, put my hands on the bench, and do some press-ups. Now this is not a push-up. My arms are in tight to my body. The inside of my arm is close to my body and I'm just pressing up. If that's too easy, bring it down to the bottom step. So now I'm closer to the ground. Again, I'm doing 15. If that's too easy, just go right to the ground. Notice where my hands are in front of my body. 
It's not a push up out here. Keep the elbows in tight. Plank position. Drop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm starting to burn out. I drop the knees. Notice when I drop the knees, I don't stick my butt out. Okay, I just drop the knees, keep my body straight, and I continue the exercise. Now here's the finisher. This is the inertia wave. I'm gonna go through a couple of the seven methods of use with the inertia wave. It engages core muscles as well as the outer muscles. Basically, it's like this. This is going to spike your heart rate, work all the energy systems that make your fat cells cry. It actually has more caloric expenditure than double under jump ropes. Okay, the world record's about 70 seconds. We're gonna go through the same methods of use. You hear that wind? I'm gonna transition into the crossfire. Circumduction. It's called the double over. And what's called the oxygen thief. Little squat, little jump. And that's all part of the metabolic or high intensity interval training. My fat cells are really upset right now. I'm Dave Parisi, the creator of the Inertia Wave with your health and fitness tip outside in the beautiful sun. <laughs>